Hi and welcome to day 37 of our Lent Reflections, Firm Foundations. Zechariah 4.10 says, Who dares despise the day of small things? God's plans and purposes for his church are amazing, awesome and big. God likes big. God isn't afraid of big. God is in fact doing big things all around the world today. The church is growing and his kingdom is being established. When Zechariah prophesied, Zerubbabel was rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem following the Babylonian exile. There were plenty of Jews who despised the day of small things. The new temple was not as grand as Solomon's temple that had been destroyed. Their enemies also despised what was being done because the rebuilding of the temple was significant. As I look around any gathering on a Sunday morning, I see how God is bringing growth, both numerically and spiritually. God is in the building business and he is building sub something substantial here in the UK as well as overseas. But like any building project, putting down foundations takes time and effort. I remember when my whole church was being extended. It took months to dig out the foundations, put in the concrete piles, the steel reinforcement and the concrete, but things speeded up when we got out of the ground. Over the years since, God has been working with us and in us to build a strong foundation, but I believe there is more. To mix metaphors, the roots have been established and it's time for a period of visible growth. That growth will continue to be both numerical and spiritual. We must be careful not to despise the day of small beginnings because it's from small acorns that mighty oaks grow. That is true for each of you as it is for the church as a whole. Do not say of yourself, well, little me, I can't do anything of significance. The Bible says you are special to God. He loves you. He sent Jesus for you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. You have authority because Jesus gave it to you. The key to success is always to look for what God is doing and what he has done. If you get stuck in a rut and focus on what God hasn't done, it's easy to dig a hole from which you can't find a way out. That's why it's important to share testimony together, to encourage one another. If you build up a list of things you perceive God hasn't done, you will build up a case to justify your unbelief. Do not despise the day of small things. Instead, rejoice in the small things God has done and allow your faith to be built up.